Very important moment in sporting history, the first ever golf shot from Lana Rhodes right here. Let's see how it goes. Easy backswing through the ball. Time to clock oh. in. All right, so you missed this. Yeah. So you can't have him in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing to watch. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. So 2021's been off to a bit of a slow start. I would have liked to have gotten an episode to you guys sooner. As you can tell, it's been about three weeks since the last one went out. I don't want to complain too much because in all honesty, someone is having a worse start to 2021 than me. And that is our friend Michael. He had his balls cut off. You can zoom in to see the new scar there. You took your fucking man's balls off. Speaking of clipping people's balls, you may have seen Lana or Amar, depending on what channel you watch, is on last podcast where she talks about my inability to commit. I want to be engaged by 25. My non-desire to move in with her. Whenever he said that he didn't want to move in with me. And most importantly, my inability to take away her Christmas tree. I asked him to take down my Christmas tree. It's still up. Yeah, I was say, I just saw it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start today's episode by getting rid of said Christmas tree. Babe, I'm here to make changes, to commit, and most importantly, to get rid of the Christmas tree. I'm going to be over here taking selfies. Yeah. <laughs> was that stand underneath it whenever we got it? Yeah, they installed it. Okay, well you need to drain the water out somehow. Yeah, sure, sure. Can, wait, can you point out really quick what the problem is with the bottom of it again? What point were you looking at? All right, I'll just get rid of the tree, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just try to manhandle this fucking thing out the back door really quick. And then I'll detach it and move it to the front. Don't spill the water on the cement floor. Last thing you want is a slippery, if wet scenario. If, if you spill water on the floor like you did last time, you're going to have to lick it up with your tongue. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a bag of potatoes. It's like a dop. Dry ass <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Babe, do you love me again? Water and pine needles all over my floor. Do you love me again? <laughs> Should just be a clear shot now to the curb. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll just tell her I brought it out to the trash. She'll never notice. She honestly probably won't notice this for like a couple weeks. No, you're going to finish taking it out. I just heard you. What? Well, heard what? Don't put it near my garbage can. I no, said that I was no, going to finish the job. Right here, my cast for my podcast, which by the way is on my channel. Go follow me. Okay, I'll finish the job. Why don't right you now. go inside and cook a son and eat toots? <laughs> <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Tonight's the night. Another round of this A1 for my girl. She knows I got that good good. Oh God, I hope he doesn't think we're doing it tonight. I'd rather do my taxes than do him. Taxes? You gonna do me like that? Yeah, you heard me. What are you gonna do about it? Oof, I don't know what got into this boy, but god dang, that was incredible. Like I said, A1, baby. All right, as if she couldn't get hotter, Lana Rhodes now wants to learn how to golf. She's been talking about it for the past couple months. You actually look really, really hot in that outfit. Really? Yeah. Let's see if we can find a uh, golf cart somewhere to... I don't know. Listen, <laughs> I got a brand new set of the uh, TaylorMade Sims, the big boy Sim Max driver. When you see me out there with Kyle from the Nelk Boys and Chase from Subify, this is the kind of stuff I'm playing with. And then lastly, I got the TaylorMade Spider putter. All TaylorMade clubs for me. I'm a TaylorMade kind of guy. Remember the guy at the golf store kept telling me that I should use the nine iron to beat you? And every day I go out to my bag and for some reason the nine iron's missing. I don't really know where to start here. I've never trained someone to golf before, but I do remember my first days golfing and they were not pretty. Show her grip how she's starting absolutely terrible dramatically horrible is that your first time holding something so long and hard yeah because we both know you don't have anything long and hard. <laughs> shout out blue chew i want to preface my swing because i know there's a lot of golfers out there that are going to be watching this video lana Rhodes learns how to golf my swing is terrible my bottom half of my body does not move my feet basically stay nailed to the floor i have bad ankles bad knees bad legs in general so we'll aim at uh say that 150 sign out there that's hot as you saw, absolutely perfectly executed, absolutely disgusting form, but it gets the job done. And as you boys at home know, that's all that matters. Get in there. My turn? All right, stay right there. Okay. I'll get you lined up. So what you want to do is you want to get this, this part. Stop. You're going to get this video tomorrow. Okay, get, get your legs straight. No, now open your legs for me. Yes, perfect. <laughs> like this. No. This doesn't seem right. Wait, wait. Man on the course. We got a man on the course. Why would he go on the course? Very important moment in sporting history. The first ever golf shot from Lana Rhodes right here. Let's see how it goes. Easy backswing through the ball. Maybe. 
No, I can't allow this. There you go. I have to keep doing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Why what are you swatting? What are you swatting a fly? Well, there you go. Now you're doing good. That was the best one yet. Woo! The golfers are going to be DMing you left and right, trying to slide in. Dustin Tiger Johnson's Woods. going to want to do lines with you. It's going to be the Dusty whole night. Dusty Johnson? Dusty Johnson. Dusty. As you guys can see, we've already made tremendous progress mm -hmm. here. Yeah, we're going to keep practicing. There's a good chance that you're going to be the next Dusty Johnson. Dusty Johnson. <laughs> All right, guys, so nothing gets you hungrier than 12 to 15 minutes on the golf range. Every other place that we've had on the moderate speed burger battle so far has been a top-notch quality grass-fed beef establishment. Today, Amara said, can we try a veggie burger or a vegan burger? I said, absolutely fucking not, but then I Remembered, Mike, you gotta start giving the girl what she wants. You gotta make her happy. So here we are at fucking Veggie Grill. We already have the burgers and they quite literally look like they were printed from a Play-Doh burger machine. They look like fake cheeseburgers, which they are. They're not actually cheeseburgers. It's a Beyond Burger with cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato. I don't know how I'm gonna rank this thing compared to other burgers because it's not even a real burger. It's already got some stuff on it. So I'm just gonna eat this thing, but look at this. It looks like a Krabby Patty, dude. Really fresh lettuce and tomato on it. The cheese tastes great. I'm sure it's not actual, it's not even real cheese either. What's it made of? Like soy or some shit? Who knows these days? Cashews. Sometimes <laughs> they use cashews to make cheese. Sometimes a little dry. It's not dry. No, sometimes. It's quite juicy actually. It looks like they've cooked the soy burger to a nice medium rare. The crazy thing about the Beyond Burger is whenever you cook them, red stuff comes out of them to simulate blood. It's always tough when an employee of the place you're eating comes out. This makes it so much fucking more difficult. What's up, bro? What are I just you? wanted to take I'm a big fan of you. What's Oh yeah, I'm gonna give this your shop a quick rating and then let's fucking do oh, okay. it. Just give me two minutes. Oh. One of the chief complaints against Shake Shack, which I gave a 9.3 is my highest rated, rated burger stand, is that it's too expensive. Shake Shack has nothing on Veggie Grill. I think for these three burgers, three fries, and three lemonades was like $63. I guess I'd have to make a special vegan scale. If I have to put it on the actual rating scale, I'm I'll give it a 3.8. Would you eat it again though? Yeah, absolutely. If I was starving on a deserted island, of course I would. Veggie Grill, 3.8. All right, brother, let's do it. Now that I finished the burger and took a picture with the guy who works here, I started feeling more morally responsible, more grounded, a citizen of the world. You know what I'm saying? Almost like I, I feel more connected with the birds, the sky and the ground beneath me. What, did you just drop some acid? No, just eating vegan food just makes me feel more like full of love and just connected. So I'm actually gonna raise the score from a 3.8 to a 4.2. So, you know, if you want to feel better about yourself and the world around you, eat uh, vegan food. If you want to be a fucking baller ass motherfucker, eat Shake Shack. If you're watching this and you're like, yo, that was fucked up for him to give a uh, such a low score to a veggie place. Like, this is the future. This is the progressive nature of America. We need more people who believe in yeah. vegetarian and vegan offerings. You know, you're a misogynist. Here's the thing. This is a show about cheeseburgers. It's not a show about cashew nut sliced soy Farming, I don't even know what the shit is. Fucking misogynist. <laughs> now what I do like is no cows had to die for me to eat that cheeseburger, I like that. And I'll tell you why, why do I like cows? Because at the end of the day, I am one. All right, guys, we are coming down to the end of another episode of The Night Shift. Here we are today on my birthday, which is supposed to be a very glorious day. Unfortunately, the day just turned a bit sour as I got a call back from my accountant who has my tax estimates for 2020, and they are absolutely fucking painful. A couple months ago, I talked a little bit about the overtime crew. It was gonna be the subscription program that was gonna be put together by the same people that do Logan's Club, as well as the Nelk Boys Club, a company called Subify. Well, that is finally happening. I believe January 25th will be the launch date for the overtime crew. It'll be an exclusive club with me and Lana, behind the scenes content, giveaways, FaceTimes. If you ever had business questions, you wanted to ask me life advice, this will all happen in the club. Wait, since it's off YouTube, yeah. She could pop a titty, huh? Yeah. David, to David's point, since she's off YouTube, she may pop a titty out every once in a while. This will be the real behind the scenes gritty action. Also, we're gonna be flying people out to do mukbangs probably once a month with me and Lana. It's all finally happening. Overtime crew, January 25th. Be on the lookout for that. I'll talk a little bit about it in the next video. Tomorrow, we're actually flying to Aspen with Banks and Tav and Lana and a bunch of girlfriends, Chase, Zach, Jeff, to go skiing for a couple days. And we're gonna shoot a ton of content around that that you'll see on the next episode of The Night Shift. That's it for today's episode. We are clocking out. Peace. And he's not super happy about that, to be honest with you.
Do you have anything to say? Oh, Lord! <laughs> Do it that way. Just rock your head back and forth a few times. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, it's exactly that, but without the finger. <laughs> With my lips out, too? <laughs> you can. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>